And 73 million people watched the first Trump-Biden debate in the 2020 election cycle. Certainly some of them from right here in Western Mass. And Western Mass News' is Abby Carnavali spoke with some who are planning to tune in tonight. We did not have to go far in Western Mass to find people eager to talk about the presidential debate. In our conversations in downtown Springfield today, they used adjectives from entertaining to concerning as they braced themselves for what will be on the debate stage tonight. I think it's a big sign of what's to come. It could be a potential turning point in this year's election. It's important when it comes to our country. It has to do a lot with what we, the people, believe in, what we support and stuff like that. So it, I think even as a young teen, we got to look forward to the um, bettering off our country. Both Gabriel Rivera and Jason Clark, Springfield residents, tell Western Mass News they'll be tuning into the first of two scheduled debates ahead of November. I'm just trying to keep an open mind about it tonight. I know this don't sound like ideal, but definitely there's going to be like an argument. I know for sure, like a funny argument at least. Imani Parks Williams tells us between a busy work and school schedule compounded by the candidates argumentative track record, she already knows what to expect. Mudslinging, um, like a lot of like inflammatory like remarks and like extreme comments. It's exactly why she's sitting this round out. I'm not watching. <laughs> I'm not making time for it. I just want them to talk about things they're going to be honest about, and I don't know that's many topics. Whereas Rivera tells us exactly what he hopes the candidates tackle. I know it's going to be a tough to um, topic, but the LGBTQ community and um, stuff like women's sports, taxes, gas prices, wars, the way our tax money is used and the way the resources are, are given to other countries. Although not on Rivera's list, immigration is a top priority for many voters. I come from um, a Mexican family, and even though they're immigrants, I'm still voting for Trump just because of the way that I believe in the country that we came to, to live in, the country that we chose to come for our, you know, the possibilities that we could reach. Do you think President Biden can say anything to sway your vote? No. Tonight will be a lot of deja vu for voters. In fact, they saw this exact same pair on a debate stage last presidential election cycle in late October 2020. This one is starting earlier in the election cycle, so voters will have more time to weigh their decision. You can watch that tonight at 9 p.m. on the networks of Western Mass News. Reporting in downtown Springfield, Abby Carnavali, Western Mass News.